Welcome back to our video series on the play framework using Scala. In this video, we are going to start making our seventh version of our task list. And this version is going to use a Scala.js React uh, front end using the Slinky library. So our last version used Scala.js with kind of a standard uh, DOM modification for the front end. That was version six. Version seven is going to be similarly simple. We really won't have much uh, to this. We'll have a load just as before. Uh, our controller is also going to be similarly simple. So task list seven dot Scala and we can take the task list six, copy, paste. We have a different name for the class and we're going to want to have a view for this as well. Now the view itself is actually going to look quite a bit different. The view is going to look more like the one for task list four, uh, though I do want all of these same hidden values because we're still gonna use the database backend. So let's make version seven main.scala.html and we can copy everything from number six, paste it into number seven and then erase everything except for the hidden elements and replace them by a single div that has an ID of react root. Okay, and I will have that say version seven. So we have a route that goes to a controller that has a main, okay? Uh, that all seems to be happy. If we go to, let's make sure the server is running. If we go to load seven, assuming we did this correctly, we should get a blank page. We see that we're compiling. Indeed, we get a blank page. Uh, it still has six there. Okay, so that was exactly the behavior that we were expecting here. Now we want to get it so that this has a some code in React that is happening here. And so if we go into our, so this is all in server, if we go into client, we had a version six dot Scala, which was doing stuff uh, you know, for the last version, getting elements, modifying things. Let's go ahead and let's make a new file called, uh, actually, yeah, no, I'm not gonna make a version seven because what we're actually, we're just gonna make components in here. Let's go ahead and let's edit our main though. So previously we have these checks to make sure that we have certain things. In this case, if we are in version seven, if we're on that page, what we want to do is we want to render something with Slinky. So I wanna do the react dom dot render. And just to see if this works to start with, let's go ahead and put in a simple message and we did, we called our root here, react root. So this would be inside of document and I have not imported document itself. So this needs to be dom.document. Dot, that is not the one I want. Get element by ID of our react root and this needs to be imported uh, to make it happy. 
Okay. Let's come refresh. Testing Slinky. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Okay, so this is in place. Now, it turns out that our configuration, our build.sbt, already had Slinky. Our version numbers are a little bit different here. So in the other, in the standalone project, I have been using ScalaJS 1.0. This project uses an older version because at the time that I'm making this, PlayJSON uh, does not yet work with ScalaJS 1.0. I expect that will be corrected in the fairly near future, and so the version numbers uh, will, will move forward accordingly, but it's not there at the time that I'm making these videos. So just so you know, if you're wondering why I have different versions of things, for example, the JS DOM uh, and whatnot, it is because of the, the fact that PlayJSON doesn't have support for ScalaJS 1.0. Okay, let's close some of the files that we don't need here. Okay, so this pops up, but we actually want this to bring up a component. Now we could go look at what we wrote previously for version 4, and you know, we, had, we put all of our components in one file here, and we had at the very end it did the React DOM render of our main component. So this main component, we call it version 4 main component, if we want to keep that same structure, this would be of course version 7 main component, it was a React component and it had this render that would just swap between you being logged in and not logged in. And we've seen in the previous videos, we can create that same type of structure in Slinky quite nicely. So if we call this version 7 main component dot Scala, then I can do a React, a class, a version 7 make component, which extends the Slinky core component. We didn't need a properties for this. There was nothing that was passed in when we did this uh, previously. I don't believe we're using props anywhere. Nope. Um, so our props can be unit. Our state, though, needed to keep track of whether we were logged in or not. And so for Slinky, we define an initial state which is a state of false because you don't start off logged in. And then we can make a render method. And in this render method, we're going to have a conditional because we want to do different things based upon whether you are logged in. So if you are logged in, then we want to show one component, else we show some other component. So this might be a login component, and this might be the task display component. And I'll just you know throw that there. Obviously, this is unhappy. Well, it's interesting where the uh, errors are coming from. unit type name. Okay, and task display component. So in order to make those happy, we need to create those two components. Uh, here I called them a task list component. Sure, let's go ahead and try to be uniform with what we had before. And the login component. So the login component is a React component class login component stems component. We don't really have to pass anything uh, into this. The and I don't believe that we did so in here, 
uh, the props aren't really used for anything, but it did have a fair bit of state because this page had both the name and the password for uh, logging in, creating a new user, and then it also displayed messages for, for these things. And so our props can be set to unit, but our state is going to have a login name that is a string, a login password that is a string, a create name that is a string, a create pass that is a string, a login message that is a string, and a login or in a, in a create message. also a string. The initial state here is all empty strings. Once again, this is basically what we set up in our previous version that was just JavaScript. And the last thing we need for this is a render and it is going to start with a div that we can import. Once again, I'm going to change that to an underscore because we're going to use lots of things from Slinky Web HTML. And this is currently uh, happy and compiles. This one is not. Um, I'm a little, let's see, login component little unhappy that it doesn't like the login component here. Uh, unless I have a typo. What we could do for this so that we'll be able to test this sooner rather than later is have a div there. So we've hit the end of this video. I'm going to come back in the next video and get it so that our login starts off uh, quickly and we can see we want to set this component up, have it render, uh, and, and get that in place. So that'll be the next thing that we work on when we come back in the next video.